Bonjour, je m'appelle Dr. Tim et bienvenue à French 2311. Leçon 5. Bienvenue à French 2311. Leçon 5. Aujourd'hui, nous allons étudier le verbe avoir, le verbe avoir et les expressions avec le verbe avoir. Le verbe avoir est un verbe irrégulier. C'est un verbe irrégulier. It is an irregular verb. So, just like être, the verb to be, avoir, should be studied on its own terms. It does not follow the year rules. So, just like être, the verb to be, avoir, the verb to have, should be studied on its own terms. Okay, c'est à la page... 67 de la page 67 à la page 69 page 67 68 69 de votre livre vis-à-vis -vis. bonjour le verbe avoir le verbe avoir, le verbe avoir, G, tu a, il, elle, on a, nous avons, vous avez, il, elle, ont, G, ok, vous, vous savez pourquoi il y a un apostrophe ici, ce, je, E, A. Vous laissez tomber la première voyère et vous mettez l'apostrophe. Ok. J, I have. J, I have. Tu as. Here you don't do the contraction. You don't do the contraction. Ok. Unless you are speaking informally. Right. Here you don't do the contraction. Tu as. A, il, elle, on, a, the same sound, but here you don't have the S. The S here is also solid. Nous avons, you do the link, the liaison. Vous avez, you do the link. Il, elle, zon. Il, elle, zon. Remember the S sound has become a Z sound. Okay? So, nous avons, vous avez, il, elle, ont. Okay. So, if you want to say, I have a book, I have a book, you do your J and then you add your book. Un livre. Okay. Tu as une. Chairs, you have a chair. Okay. Il, elle, on a un bureau. He, she, one has a desk. Bureau. Okay. Vous avez un dictionnaire. Nous avons. Okay. Nous avons. Un professeur, we have a professor, we have a teacher. Ça va? But, avoir is also used with certain expressions. Premièrement, l'âge, age, age. 
In English, you say, how old are you? You use the verb to be, être, right? In English, you will use être. Whereas in French, they will use the verb avoir, avoir, to express age. How old are you? Will be, will be used in a different way in French. They will use the verb avoir. The verb avoir will be used instead of the verb être. How old are you? Okay. Tu as quel âge? Tu as is here, right? Tu as quel âge? What age? So you have what age? Literally. Tu as quel âge? Tu as quel âge? You have what age? Literally. But in English, you see how old are you? Ah. The verb are is used instead of the verb have, right? Okay, so that is the difference. Okay, to a quel age? The same question is asked here with a different style. Here you have what is called, you see the to a, right? The stored there, but the place of the. <coughs> Subject pronoun has changed, right? The place of the subject pronoun has changed. Here the verb has come first, and there is a hyphen, and then the subject pronoun comes after the verb. It is what is called l'inversion, the inversion, where the subject pronoun and the verb change, they change places, the subject pronoun and its verb change places. And there is a hyphen in between. The hyphen in French is called tiré, tiré. Il y a un tiré entre le verb et Le pronoun sujet. Okay. Now, if you want to use a formal you, right, the vous form used in a formal situation, let's say you're talking to a grown up, a grown person, somebody older than you, your supervisor, right, somebody you don't know. Somebody you've met for the first time, you're using the vous form to show respect in a formal situation. You do the same thing. You use avoir, av, the verb avoir with quel âge. So here you use the vous form. Vous avez, right? Vous avez, vous avez, vous avez quel âge? Vous avez quel âge? And here we've used the same question but we've used the inversion style uh, l'inversion so quel âge avez-vous si the ave is here first followed by the vous and then you have your tiré the half in in between quel âge avez-vous quel âge avez-vous vous avez quel âge the same thing, different style. Okay, tu as quel âge? Quel âge as-tu? What is your age? Right? How old are you in English? What age have you in French? Have instead of ah, right? Okay, but the standard English translation will be how old are you? And the response, because we've used the verb avoir, the response will use the verb avoir. So,
the response, how old are you? I am, will be translated literally in French as I have. So you have your J here. Followed by your years, right? Years, the number of years. So if you are 18 years old, you would just say, I have 18 years, which translates into Eng English as I am 18 years old. Okay, so J and then 18. Let's write a number and then on is year because 18 is plural right more than one add your s to make on on plural whether it's singular or plural on is pronounced the same way on 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 nasalized a is a nasal vowel on 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 so collage avez vous Quel âge as-tu? J'ai 18 ans. J'ai 18 ans. J'ai 18 ans. I am 18 years old. If you're 20 years old, you will say j'ai 20 and then an. J'ai 20 ans. 20 ans. J'ai 20 ans. Remember 20 has a T at the end. That's why you, you will say 20 ans. You hear the T sound when you're doing the liaison, right? J'ai 20 ans, j'ai 20 ans. The T and then followed by the an. Okay, ça va? So age is expressed with the verb avoir. Okay, avoir fin. Nasalize the A. I am. The nasal vowel. Un, 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 un. So, fin, 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 fin. Avoir fin. Avoir soif. Soif, pronounce the F. Avoir fin. To be hungry. To be starving. Avoir soif. To be thirsty. So, if you want to say, I am thirsty, or you are thirsty. You are, right? So, to, and then the avoir part is changed to agree with the subject pronoun. So, tu as faim. Tu as faim. If you are, you are thirsty. Tu as soif. Tu as soif. Tu as faim. To a soif. Fin is not touched. Don't change it. Soif is not touched. Just the verb form is changed to agree with the subject pronoun. Avoir show. Avoir show. Avoir show. To be hot. To be hot. And then avoir froid. Avoir froid, or I, is always pronounced wa, wa, wa. Avoir froid, avoir froid. So, avoir chaud. Okay, let's use nous. And then, avant. Nous avons chaud, nous avons chaud, nous avons froid. Nous avons d'avoir pas d'échange. To agree with nous. Nous avons chaud. Nous avons froid. Okay. Avoir tort is to be wrong. To be wrong. So when you say 6 minus 5 is 4. Quand vous déclarez, when you declare that 6 Moins cinq font quatre. Vous avez tort. You are wrong. Vous avez tort. Okay. So, there. C'est de vous. 
and then they have Wattpad. <coughs> Ave, and then Thor, <coughs> we remain like that. Vous avez tort, vous avez tort. Okay. You are wrong, but if you are right, if you say Paris est la capitale de la France, vous avez raison, vous avez raison, you are right, you have reason. Okay. Avoir raison, to be right, to be right. To be right, to be right. So let's use il, plurier, and then the verb form will be en. So ils ont raison. They are right. They are right. Okay. This next expression is used almost the same way as we use it in English. Avoir l'air, to have the air of, to have the air of, to seem, right? S-E-E-M, to seem. So if somebody seems nice to you, right, you will say, Elle, she. Avoir pas à l'air. And here you follow le with the adjective that you want to describe the person with. So you will, if you want to say, she seems nice, she has the air of a nice person, you use the, the adjective sympa, sympathetic. Elle a l'air sympathique. Elle a l'air sympa. Très bien. OK. Avoir de la chance. You see the, 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 the word chance. In English, chance. Right? It means to be lucky. If you want the lottery, you are lucky. Vous avez de la chance. So, avoir de la chance. So, elle, plurie, avoir pas will be en, right? And then de la chance will follow. Elles ont de la chance. The women are lucky. They are lucky. They are lucky. Okay. Here. Avoir sommeil, sommeil, sommeil. Avoir sommeil, répétez, sommeil, sommeil, yeah, yeah. Avoir sommeil, to be sleepy. So let's say you've been studying till one o'clock in the morning, all right? You'll be obviously sleepy. So let's use <clears throat> vous. Right, so it's vous, and then the avoir part, avez, and then the sommeil will remain the same. You realize that those expressions don't change. It's just the avoir part that will change to agree with the person doing the action, the person doing the action or the person being described. Ça va? Très bien. Okay. Avoir honte, avoir honte, don't say the H. Avoir honte means to be ashamed, to be ashamed. You did something wrong, you are ashamed, right? So, j'ai, the avoir with je becomes j'ai and then honte. You don't change honte, it will stay the same. J'ai honte. J'ai honte. I am ashamed. Okay. Avoir rendez-vous. Avoir rendez-vous. To have a date or to have a meeting. Rendez-vous 
has become an English word. Now you know where it came from, right? It came from French and it's been borrowed into English, right? So, avoir rendez-vous, the easy sound is A. Avoir rendez-vous. So, if you want to say, <clears throat> nous avons rendez-vous, we have a day, then nous, right? And then the avoir part will become avant. You do the liaison when you are saying it. Nous avons rendez-vous. Nous avons rendez-vous. We have a day. Nous avons rendez-vous. We have a meeting. Right? Okay. The last three. Avoir besoin. Répétez. Besoin. Avoir besoin will be followed by the preposition de. Avoir besoin de. And then here. Avoir envie. De. Okay, the last one can stand alone. Avoir peur. Peur. Like the cat. A cat purring, right? Peur. Okay, you roll your R. Avoir peur. To be afraid. Can stand on its own. Just like in English. I'm afraid, right? I'm afraid of a lion. I am afraid of going home. So you can use avoir peur in three instances. Standing alone with a noun or with a verb. Here, avoir besoin de means to need some, something, to be in need of right so if you need a drink right you need a drink you need a coca-cola and coca and coca-cola you will say j right and then your besoin will follow right and then the do and then your apostrophe because you are saying, J'ai besoin, if you need a book, okay? J'ai besoin d'un livre. Or say, you need a French book because you don't have one. Say, J'ai besoin d'un livre. The de, the E has been dropped and then the apostrophe because you have another vowel following A, right? So the first vowel is dropped and you put your apostrophe. Avoir besoin de can also be followed by a verb. If you have an exam and you need to study, right? So here, je besoin, right? I need to study. And then the de, and the verb est su die. Right? The air verb don't touch the verb. Right? The verb used after de. But you see that here too we have voyeur, voyeur. So let's say tomber la première voyeur, drop the first one. Et mettez l'apostrophe. And then put your apostrophe there. Okay, avoir envie de, avoir envie de, to feel like, you feel like drinking, you feel like a cup of tea, you feel like a cup of water, a glass of water, right? You feel like Coca-Cola, okay? So, j'ai envie, yeah, let's use, mm, let's use... The two form. Tu as envie, right? De use un Coca Cola. Then Coca Cola. Tu as envie d'un Coca Cola. If you are thirsty, right? Tu as soif. You are 
thirsty, tu as envie d'un Coca-Cola. You feel like having a Coke, a pop, a Coke. Ok. Ça va? Ça va? Ok. Here too. If, let's say you feel like dancing, right? You want to shake it a little bit. Then you have to use the verb don't say after the preposition de. De. The preposition de, by the way, means of. I feel like, right? What do you have? Besoin de. Besoin de. So there you will say to. Ah, you are right feeling like to have envy, and then the verb don't say will follow is an S and not a C in French. To have envy, you don't say you feel like dancing, you feel you feel like dancing. See that there to you, the verb is used in its infinitive form. Finally, avoir peur, to be afraid. Okay? Like if you want to say the children are afraid, right? You will say ism, and then peur. Then what are they afraid of? They are afraid of a lion. Okay, so there, ism, Père, and then Dan Lion, 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 spelled the same way but pronounced differently. Lion, Lion, ils ont peur. Dan Lion, but they'll say, okay, you want to lose weight, and then there is a meal in front of you very rich everything is in there but you because you want to lose weight you are afraid of eating that meal you can say je peur je peur de manger i am afraid of eating because you think you are going to gain weight but you want to lose weight so there you can say Il, if you're talking about people, right? They are afraid of eating because they want to eat and uh, lose weight. So, ils ont peur, and then your de will follow. And then manger, the verb to eat, will be written in its infinity form, the er verb form. Right, you don't touch those verbs after do. Ça va? So, avoir can be used simply with the meaning of possession, possession, possessing something, right? Having something like j'ai un livre, j'ai un livre, or Tu are in shares. You possess a chair. All right. J'ai un livre. I have a book. But avoir is also used in certain expressions where in English we would normally use the verb to be. In French, the verb avoir is used. For instance, I am starving. I am hungry. The verb to be is used in English. Where are the French we say je, 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 okay, and then fin. Je, fin. Literally, I have hunger. Which in standard English will be I am hungry. Ça va? Au revoir et à bientôt. À la prochaine. Au revoir.